Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm out here to fix a leak that I have on my water tank. Uh, I got this from, um, bought it used, and I put the sealant around it, but it was never really that tight. It's, it moves from the inside. There's like a float valve on the inside, and this leaks, so I need to take this whole thing apart and figure out what I need to do to put it together. Um, I might have to just go to the hardware store and buy a couple of fittings, but I've got my eight foot ladder out here and it's a 2,600 gallon tank. So what we do is we try to wait until we can get a delivery of 2,000 gallons and what we do is we wait until Aja needs water at the same time and we're basically to that point where both of us the tanks are down real low so here I'll show you I'll take the lid off it's kind of hard to see in here but there's a... let's see if I can see in here at all yeah you can see this float valve here it goes on right over here threads through so I'm probably gonna have to go get a threaded fitting um, but that's fine Water level's down, looks like it's about a foot and a half deep, so I still have a few hundred gallons to go. But I need to get this fixed, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and get going on fixing it. Once I fix this, I'll be able to go all the way up to here before it leaks, and I will put a little bit of sealant on uh, these threads too, just for the heck of it. Okay, I found a thick rubber gasket that I can use and I can just put all the same hardware back. I just took the arm off so it's easier. It's just no different than going and buying the fittings, but I'm gonna put it back together this way. And then I'm gonna put some silicone on the whole thing. Okay, what I did is I put a bead down there against the gasket and a bead on the threads. And then I'm gonna push it through the hole and then I'm going to put some more on the other side. That's gonna leak. Alright. Extra excess on here. Alright. Put an extra bead. I think this is gonna work. A lot better than before. My lid's back on tight. Including locating uh, the stuff I needed. It was like 25 minutes. Not bad. So that's one project done. I'm ready for more water right now the level is about 
about here so I still have I still have about 12 inches before I have to get more water but I'm gonna get some here soon I think I have room for the 2,000 gallons now especially if that's not gonna leak so okay I think the only thing I'm gonna do now is take this fitting off and put a bead around that just for the heck of it Okay, it's done. It's on there good and tight. There's a really good soft rubber gasket on the inside and it's been siliconed inside and out. And I went ahead and siliconed that plug as well, just for the heck of it. The job I did on these ones down here is working fine. They haven't leaked one bit. So these are the only two I didn't, I never did anything with. I never had it that full until, uh, Last time we went to fill it, I needed to fill it up to here. And when I got to here, it just was gushing out of here. And so it, it, I did fill it up to here, but in a day it went down to here and I lost some water. So won't do that again. Cool. Well, pan around here real quick. Looks like it's gonna rain. Got some rain clouds off there in the distance. Everybody's cleared out of Aja's camp. Aja and John left on uh, Saturday. And everybody else left today, this morning. Jennifer and Jason are still here. And Jeff. Yeah, got some rain clouds up here. Look at that. I hope it does rain. We need the water. Scouts around here somewhere. All right, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.